Learn Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 2266, Power Query Column from Examples. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jelen. You know, Excel 2013 introduced Flash Fill, and Flash Fill was cool and all. But, you know, the problem with Flash Fill is it doesn't tell you how it filled, right? I mean, these aren't formulas out here. If the underlying data changes, uh, you know, so what, right? So, um, Power Query now has the ability to flash fill, but it's so much better. All right, so I'm going to make this into a table here, Control T, data, get data, actually here from a table. All right, and we're going to do flash fill now, but what I want to do is I want to take this date and I want to make this date into a month or something like that. Now, all right, in Excel, that's equal month, uh, but if I want the year, uh, yeah, it's going to be the text function. So I'm going to come here to add column and I'm going to use column from examples, column from examples. So that first one is January 2018. So I'm going to put January, all right, and they offer me month name from date and I choose that, click OK. choose January and then click OK and it fills it in but it doesn't just fill it in it tells me what formula I would use for that in the future so we come here to the advanced editor this is date dot month name open parentheses date close parentheses right and this is case sensitive which is super annoying in Excel I could use equal text equal uppercase text equal lowercase text the T and the E and the uppercase and the X and the T lowercase, but in Power Query, they're super, super picky about getting just the D, just the M, just the N uh, capitalized, which I hate because I would always have to go back to the Power Query function reference online to figure that out. Well, I don't have to do that anymore. All right, and let's say that I want to get just the first three letters of sector. Let's try it again. So we'll come here, add column, column from examples, and I'll type MAN. And then I will press enter. Ah, oh, no, they didn't get it. So then I type H E A and then T R A. All right, there we go. Now they figured out that I want the first characters. I click OK. Now that in Excel would have been equal left, comma, three, right? But here in Power Query, it is uh, text.start sector, comma, three. Text.start. What a weird function language this M language is. All right, flash fill, been around in Excel for a long time. It, it is it's fine, but the column from examples feature here in Power Query is so much better because it's doing what flash fill would do and it's giving you the formula. Uh, so that way if something changes, the next time you update this, uh, that will change as well. All right, the new column from examples feature in Excel. Um, very, very cool uh, set of functionality. Well, hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.